Hey guys, Nick Alpha here, and welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Red. So let's get started. And the first thing we're introduced to is Professor Oak. And he is the Pokemon Professor, and he's just going to tell us that there are Pokemon all over the world, and people keep them as pets, or people battle with them. We'll be doing a lot, so let's keep going there. And we're introduced to the hero of the story, and we're going to call him Ash. Um... I'm going to keep all the character names as they should be from the original. And here is another guy we're introduced to. Who could he be? He is our rival. So we've now got all the components we need for a classic RPG. So we're going to call him Gary, because that's what they're both called in the original. So, now we have our hero and our villain. Let's um, get started with the story, shall we? And as we, all, we know, all good RPGs start with you waking up in your bedroom. So let's have a little go in the snares there, a bit of fun, and then move up to the PC. And in the PC, there's a potion, and that will heal our Pokemon's HP. So you can withdraw and deposit items in the PC as you go along, which is really handy. And let's talk to our mom. We call them mums in the UK, but what can you do? Right, so it looks like Professor Oak wants to talk to us, so let's uh, move on and find him. Unfortunately, he's not in this lab, so let's run away. But there he is, Oak appears. So what we find out here is the Pokemon live in tall grass and as we don't have a Pokemon of our own we'll not be able to tackle those. So we'll need to get one of our own but how are we going to do that I wonder? Let's follow Oak and find out. So here we are in Professor Oak's lab and we'll just go up and see, look there's Gary as well. So what's he wanting I wonder? He just wants to know why he's there. He's always completing this boy. So we find out three Pokeballs on the table with three Pokemon in them. And Oak has travelled the world. So he's got three left. Which isn't a great turnout. So we get to pick one. So first one on the list is Charmander. Fire type. Awesome little dude there. But I'm not going to go for him. The next one we have is Squirtle. Water type. Cool looking guy. But again, not going to go for him. My choice of Pokemon is Bulbasaur. And he's my favourite, so we're going to rock with that and go on. So what's going to happen now is Gary gets his Pokemon, and what he'll do is pick a Pokemon that is strong against the type that you've chosen. Nothing you can do about that, not random at all, so he gets Charmander. So, oh, we've got a Pokemon, let's continue on with our adventure. But oh no, Gary seems to have different plans. So, um, yeah, let's get it on for boss time! I must apologise DHC Bailey for doing that, but I just couldn't resist. I'll try and keep to my own language and choice of words uh, in future LPs, but that one might just have to stick. So, in battle we have four commands, which are fight, Pokemon, item, and run. You can't run from trainer battles, so there's no point doing that. Pokemon is when you have other Pokemon in your party, you'll be able to swap them in and out of battle. Item is when you use the items that you've collected, so we have a potion, which we might have to use in this battle. We'll just have to take that as it comes. And then we have Fight. So we have two attacks at Bulbasaur. Tackle, which will do some damage. And Growl, which reduces the enemy's attack power. All I'm going to do in this battle is use Tackle. And try and take this Charmander down. So the problem you get with the first battle is it always takes a long time. Because you're both the same level. You've got around the same HP. And you just kind of have to battle out. So it does take some time. But... We'll get through it. Hopefully we'll be able to beat Charmander before he beats us, but it doesn't look like we're doing too well. So, we'll see if we get attacked again, we might have to use that potion we picked up earlier. So, yep, one more attack and we'll be down. So, um, let's heal Bulbasaur up and get back into the fray. And it looks like Gary's picked himself a quality Pokemon right there. He's really laying in this. Oh dear, critical hit's not good. I think we got lucky there with the Growl. And let's see, can we finish him off? Yes! So we've won our first battle. We had to use a potion, which isn't good, but needs must. So we've got up a level, which is awesome. So our stats go up a bit. Um, and that's all great. This is the only battle that your Pokemon actually get healed after as well. So, we can get straight to it. 
Gary's going to go away and do his own thing. Um, so let's rock on and start the adventure. So, obviously, the only place we can really go is out of time. Um, so as we know, Pokemon are in the tall grass. So this is our first random encounter. It's with a Rattata. So, we don't have any Pokemon and we don't have any facility to um, catch Pokemon. So all we can really do is battle with them at the minute. So that's what I'm going to do on my way to the next time. Is just take down all the Pokemon on the way. You can run from the battles, but I think it's better just to stick at it and keep fighting them because that gets you experience. And experience means you can go up levels, which is exactly what we need to get through the game. So let's talk to this guy, see what he wants. He works at the Pokemon Mart, which is the shop where you can get all your goods in Viridian City. So that's where we're going next, and he's given us a potion, which is awesome. So let's keep going. And we've got another battle. Alright, oh, well this one's with the Pidgey, flooding type Pokemon. A lot of people like the Pidgey. don't know if it's because of the anime series and it comes up a lot, but I'm not a big fan. There's a flying type that I prefer we can actually get just as early, really, so... I'll tell you about that later. All in good time. Okay, so we've got another Pokemon, we've gone up a level, which is great, and we've learnt a new attack. Leech Seed, so I'll demonstrate that later. Let's go on, he hasn't got anything interesting to say, so we'll just keep our lit past him. And here we are, we've arrived in the next town, which is Viridian City. So what we want to do is heal up first, so we go to the Pokemon Center, and we talk to the nurse here, and she will heal our Pokemon. So it takes all the Pokemon in your party, puts them back to full health and removes all negative status effects you might have gained along the way, but obviously we can't get any of them at the minute, so let's move on to the Pokemart, which is where the guy in the shop was before, so um, why? Well they seem to know who we are and there's a, an order in for Oak, so let's go deliver that now while well, we've got some time, so we're just going to go back the way we came, classic fetch quest. So with the ledges there, you can jump down them, you can't jump up them. And uh, you can avoid a lot of the grass here, but I'm not going to do that because I want to get as many encounters as I can to um, level up. So here's another Rattata. Hopefully we can take it down a bit quicker now that we've leveled up. I'll show you Leech Seed actually now. It's a bit of a grass type. And what you will see is that when you choose an attack, that um, it has... A certain number so there you see this one has got 35 out of 35 40 out of 40 9 out of 10 so what that's your pp or power points so what that decides is how many times you can use that attack once you run out of um, your pp then you can't use that attack again if you run out of all pp of all your moves then you'll end up using a struggle move um, but that will also do damage to you but that's not likely to happen here so i think what i'll probably do for repeat battles in the future is i'll probably edit them out Unless I'm trying to, to do something specific like catch a Pokemon, so here we are, back in Pallet Town, and we've hit another battle. So I really like the battle music in this game. In fact all the music in this is brilliant. Classic 8-bit tunes. I always think that that's basically my favourite era for video game music. Don't know why, always intrigued me. Nothing like a good 8 bit tune. So here we are back at Oak's place. And let's give him the parcel. So he wants to know how the Pokemon. We've only had the Pokemon for a few minutes, so. Don't know what's going on there. We can't be that close. But we've delivered the parcel. So it's fetch quest done. And Gary's come back again. Maybe he's finished his quest. Oh no, apparently we've been summoned as well. So, um, let's see, he's talking about the invention in the corner there, and that's called a Pokedex. So, that basically tells you more information about the Pokemon, and shows you a list of other ones that you've encountered in future games that they can actually show you which ones you've caught as well. So if you're going to try and catch them all, which is the premise of the game, you can't really check now, but... 
that's fine, I'll show you everything you can do as we go along. So, Gary's on the hump and he's going to get a world map from his sister. I wonder if we can do the same. Because, as we know, in all good RPGs, you can go wherever you want and no one questions it. So let's talk to our nemesis sister. Oh, so for that little uh, fetch quest, we actually get a time map. So, there we go. Next thing's next. We're going to want to catch some Pokemon, but that's all I've got time for. So, what's going to happen? Where are we going to go? Who are we going to find? Let's find out next time in Let's Play Pokemon Red. I'm Nick Alpha. Take it easy.